Welcome back to another video on the channel today. Today we're back talking about Wrexham AFC and we're talking about a hot topic to do with Wrexham AFC at the minute. And of course, we've got the news the other day that we're putting up a new 2,289 capacity temporary stand. We can sort of understand that the COP redevelopment date will be pushed back even further, hence why we've installed this new temporary stand. And today is exciting because we have got the first official pictures of how the temporary stand is going to look, how quickly it's gone up. And of course, we've got some points that we're going to be talking about and we've got some stuff that we can sort of gather from this temporary stand. But before we get going in today's video, make sure to get down there and click the red subscribe button. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. So if there's anyone new watching this video, please get down there and click the red subscribe button. If you're coming across this video and if you haven't subscribed already, please consider getting down there and subbing. With the best Rex Mercy channel on YouTube, up-to-date videos, consistent transfer news, you name it, everything will be on this channel. So as you can see on screen now, this is the first picture that Rex AFC have uploaded onto Twitter of what the new stand is obviously going to be looking like. It's taken five days for them to announce that they're putting up a temporary stand. And of course, five days on, this is what it looks like. They've made some incredible progress. It looks like they've got multiple workers on site to get this done. And of course, it's a temporary stand, so you don't expect it to be taken months upon months. And the fact that they've got this done near enough in the matter of a week is absolutely incredible. And it's looking positive and looking likely that it will be in place for our game against Newport County. So we've got a couple of talking points and a couple of interesting talking points that I'm sure you'll be really interested to hear. And my first point is, where is the front row of this new temporary stand? Now looking at the pictures, we can obviously see that it's quite low, it goes quite low down. And of course, behind the goal, you've got those really tall advertising boards. Now they're probably about one and a quarter size height of a normal football goal. So. I don't understand what's going to happen with those. Will they be removed? The bottom row of the new temporary stand looks like it will have next to nothing view of the pitch. And I'm assuming that these boards might temporarily be taken out. But then again, what are they going to do with the sponsors that have obviously paid to have their names on those boards? I think for me, this is a definitely an interesting topic because you've, of course, like I said, got those first three rows that I'm assuming are going to be for wheelchairs. But what are they going to do with these boards that are blocking off the view for them? Are they going to remove them completely? And then you've got a question in these companies that have paid money to have their name and of course it's one of the better places to have your name outside the ground you know Stoke Cold Brew for example have their name on the advertising board right behind the goal you know if that's taken away then I can't imagine those sponsors and those companies that have paid to have their name directly behind the goal are going to be very happy but this is definitely a question I'd love to hear your opinions on in the comment section down below for me I think they're going to have to remove the boards because the view is massively, massively restricted to a point where they probably won't be able to see any of the pitch. And I could be completely wrong, but it definitely looks that way. From two of the pictures that I've currently seen, it does look like it will be restricting the view, but could be wrong though. But from what I'm gathering, it does look like they're going to have to do something, whether they're going to increase the height of the stand or remove the boards. And of course, I've said it before, how quickly the temporary stand has been put up. It's been put up in the matter of five days, I think it was. We got the news on the of December that we were installing a new temporary stand and now on the 8th of December they've got the base put up for the stand and most of the infrastructure has been put up and I think they're just waiting on a couple of things here and there and of course the rows of seats so They've got it done really quick and I can only imagine in my eyes they've probably got 40 plus workers per day working on this multiple hours a day to get this stand up because of course Wrexham AFC will want to get this stand up as soon as possible. They want to house fans behind the goal for the 23rd of December so it meant that there was going to have to be a lot of hard work. It was going to have to be multiple hours per day, a lot of workers working on it to get this stand up and running and you might think okay it might not take that long because it's a temporary stand but you've got to remember it's big. It's going to house 2,000 1,300 people in it so it's not going to be like it's one row completely straight it's basically a really horizontal line and it is big it is very big and that's another thing that shocked me was the size of this stand when I first looked at the picture now I got an idea of sort of how big the stand was going to be but it looks even more impressive and to think that that's only going to be nearly half the size that the cop stand is going to be then the cop is going to be something else and to say that this temporary stand is going to do the job I think is definitely an understatement because I'd been happy with the one thousand seater but the fact that we've got a 2300 seater temporary stand coming in place for the end of the year is something special and of course this was emphasized quite heavily on twitter by a couple of outlets it was the fact that there was going to be a lot of wheelchair spaces for of course the people in the wheelchairs and you can visibly see this on the pictures you know you can sort of gather an understanding where the seats are going to be and where the wheelchair is going to be. I think there's like three or four rows and it doesn't go all the way to the end of the stand. It sort of like cuts off, 
I'd say maybe 25, 20% left of the stand on either side. So there's a fair amount for the people that are going to be in wheelchairs. So it's good to see that they've taken that into consideration. You know, I think there definitely has been some thought behind putting this temporary stand up. And, you know, it's really good to see these small touches like that, adding those extra wheelchair spaces for maybe people who are in wheelchairs that actually can't even make the games. This will allow them to have an opportunity to come and watch Wrexham. And of course, there'll be a designated spot for them. Yeah, I've said it already, but this stand is a lot bigger than what I was expecting. Now, when Rex obviously put this post up on Twitter, I sort of took a second glance and it sort of shot me a bit because I was not expecting it to be like this. Of course, we've seen Gillingham. They've set the standard of temporary stands. And of course, theirs is probably one of the best temporary stands in the country. And that's not really anything to be proud of, but they've sort of set the standard for what teams can expect if they're getting a temporary stand. And, you know, I wasn't expecting a big stand like Gillingham's and I think theirs holds some like three and a half thousand. So I was expecting a lot less, but to be honest, I'm shocked by how big it was in comparison to what I was thinking in my head now. You can imagine that it'll be sort of a similar slant to what the cop will be. This goes horizontally up like that. And, you know, it looks like it's going to hold a lot of people and it'll be an impressive, impressive sight to see 2,300 extra Rex MOC fans packed inside the temporary stand behind the goal. Hopefully they can improve the atmosphere even more on a match day inside the Kairas and help us make it an even more of a fortress than it already is. And of course, it's a massive bonus having two sets of Rex MOC fans on either end of the ground. Of course, teams love that coin toss and they love to switch it for the first half. There's going to be none of that. It's not really going to work. I think there's going to be like 2,800 Wrexham fans in the tech end and of course 2,300 in the temporary stand behind the goal. So it's going to be something special. It's a sight to behold and it's just genuinely incredible. You know, to think that a week ago we weren't even hearing the news of a temporary stand. It wasn't even an option to most Wrexham AFC fans, but to think that it's gone up really, really quickly and to think we'll see it in use before the end of the year is really, really exciting. And of course, we'll have that 12,500 attendance for the Welsh rivalry game against Newport County. Now, this is something that isn't actually pictured on the photo of the new temporary stand, but it's a question that I want to hear your opinion on. Now, my question is, do you think that that they'll be installing new temporary turnstiles for the fans to use to get into this temporary stand? Do you think they'll go through the turnstiles of the Mold Road, the Wrexham Lager, etc.? And of course, do you think they'll allow cars to park in that massive area behind the stand? Of course, I think that's less of a possibility than temporary turnstiles, but that's a question I want to ask. Do you think they'll install temporary turnstiles and how many is the question? Because it seems a massive, massive space to just install a couple of temporary turnstiles. I genuinely don't really know what is going to happen there. But now that leads me on to another question. Will there be facilities for the people in the temporary stand to use behind the goal? Will there just be like a burger van, one that's on wheels that can easily be driven into the race course ground and obviously in that cop area behind the goal? There's a lot of space, so they could maybe have one or two there, but it's not ideal compared to other areas of the ground where you can get a pint, where you can get a pie, hot food, of course. You're very limited to what you can do with like a burger van behind the goal. Will they be able to share the facilities in the Mold Road, in the Wrexham Lager? That's a question you've got to ask yourselves. There's a lot of questions and I hope they do answer these questions. Of course, they'll have to answer them on a match day when they first do release tickets for Newport County at home. I'm sure they'll do a list of details on what will be happening for those people. And yeah, I mean, it's an incredible, incredible sight to see that we're finally, finally using that area behind the goal. And it will be a very strange feeling, you know, when you first see fans behind that goal, because obviously before my lifetime, the cop was in use. I'm sure it'll be a good moment for the people that once did stand on the cop to see them in that area behind the goal again. And I think it's like the first time since like the 1970s or something since Wrexham fans did actually sit behind the goal in a stand. So there'll be a lot of emotions running through people's body of course when they do first see the people buying the goal it'll be a great moment it will be a very good moment and let's hope we can use it to our advantage make the race course a fortress even more than it already was so yeah that is a couple of talking points on the new cop stand what we can gather from the pictures and of course we've got questions to ask and we will surely get answers from Rex and AFC, you know like where will they go in? Where will they scan their tickets on a match day? Will they be able to share facilities and other stands in the ground? And how easily accessible is it for people to obviously make their way 
into that new temporary stand behind the goal. These are all questions, like I said, that will be hopefully answered by Rex Mercy. And let me know your questions in the comment section down below. I asked for it in a community post. I'm going to be making a whole separate video on a Q&A of this new stand. So like I said, if you've got questions, let me know in the comment section down below. But there is one question that I do want to answer before the video ends. And it was one of the questions on the community post. Now it says, it's bittersweet. Glad more fans can go to games now. But unfortunately, it wasn't there from the beginning due to unforeseen delays and yeah they've hit the nail on the head there that is completely right of course the club weren't expecting to hit these roadblocks in terms of you know the underground piping that leads to the university of course the lease of the transfer for the cop stand and there's things that have stood in our way since you know we announced the plans of the cop and it's not been easy obviously to get all these things done but I feel like we're slowly getting there and we're slowly making progress and of course like this person said it's good that we can now get extra fans inside the race course ground we're slowly meeting the demand of Rex FC and of course meeting and the demand of fans that want to be inside the race course on a match day sort of puts a downside onto this because obviously this sort of gives us the indication that the cop redevelopment process and the foundations for the cop won't start until maybe earlier on next year if we're looking at a date we're probably looking at april may so it's unfortunate but it's a good short temporary solution to meet ticket demands and of course that is it for the video today and i'll see you guys in another video up the town